Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! A British judge has ruled that an autistic man from Suffolk can be extradited to America to stand trial for allegedly hacking into US government computers. Lawyers for 31-year-old Larry Love, who has Asperger's syndrome, say he faces almost a century in prison if found guilty. In an emotional appearance outside court, Mr Love said he would appeal. We'll hear from him in a moment. But first, our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, reports. <laughs> Some supporters of Lowry Love made their point noisily outside Westminster Magistrates Court. Others took a rather more traditional approach before he went in. Like many, confident the whole thing would be over. It didn't happen. It may simply be that we, this is so important that it has to be settled at a higher court and so we shouldn't look upon this as even nearly the end, but it's just a, the, a point in a, a longer process and we'll continue to fight because we, we're doing what's right. The case will now be appealed to the High Court. We're incredibly, incredibly disappointed. Uh, we thought that we'd uh, done enough. Um, only the defence called evidence. The prosecution didn't actually call any evidence at all. Uh, the judgment itself is, is pages and pages of the defence case. Um, and then concludes by saying, I'm going to send the case to the Secretary of State, which effectively means that she's ordering extradition. But the US insists he must stand trial there. They say he hacked into FBI, Central Bank and Missile Defense Agency computer systems. Mr Love has Asperger's, a form of autism, and his supporters say he couldn't function in a prison on remand for several years before even facing trial in America and should stand trial here. His father, prison chaplain Alexander Love, said once again his son's predicament shows the UK-US extradition treaty is a one-way street. If I was a Baptist minister in America and my son had a Spurgeous and they were trying to extradite him to Britain, I'm pretty certain my son wouldn't be taken away from America. But here, you know, it's going to happen. Gary McKinnon's mother, Janice Sharp, was in court today. Her son faced similar extradition. In America, no American who commits a crime while they are physically on Brit American soil can or would be extradited. Why then do we extradite our own? In the end, with great publicity, Gary McKinnon was not sent for trial in the US. And why? Because the then Home Secretary intervened to stop it. And who was that? Theresa May. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Larry Love and I asked him whether he did hack into US computers. So what I'm hoping is that when the extradition prospect is removed, then I'll be charged here in the UK and I'll see some evidence, if there is evidence against me, and I'll be able to formulate a defence then. So you're not prepared to say anything no, now because it would incriminate you? Uh, unfortunately, I've been in the state of legal limbo for three years and we, we can expect there to be a criminal prosecution in the UK and the, the, the normal way for the rule of law to proceed is you get charges, you see the evidence and you formulate a defence with your, your legal representatives. I'm fighting for the right to have that. Now, the judge in the ruling mm. says that although there is a risk mm. to your mental health, um, they are satisfied that the American prison and health system will be able to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that's wrong? Well, it's disappointing because we have three days of hearing in which um, several experts on conditions in the US prison system and spoke at length about how it would be in inadequate for, for the mental health problems that I face and the, the vulnerability that I would be at. And because my parents work in the prison system in the UK, I know quite well the differences. We, we are much more humane and caring. Now, if the Home Secretary goes ahead and rubber stamps this ruling, mm -hmm. I presume you will appeal. Yeah, so we have... The... Is it your intention to keep appealing this right to the end? Sure. Um, we, we have to keep fighting because I... I don't really entertain any prospects of surviving if I enter the US justice system, so we will take it to the next court. We'll hope to win there. I mean, some people would argue that what you are being accused of is much more serious than what Gary McKinnon was being accused of, because you're accused of actually working with other people to deliberately hack mm. very serious computer systems in the United States. I, I, and, it's, it's, and that's a different circumstance to Gary yeah, McKinnon. Yeah, I mean, uh, the problem is we don't want to preempt the process of, of the law and so the seriousness and the gravity and the context will be treated in a UK court of justice 
and a jury and a judge will decide. And are you prepared to take the consequences of whatever your actions demand? It's you know, if, you, if you've broken the law certainly. to a very serious degree, you're prepared to go to jail, or you just want to go to jail in Britain? Um, I, I just think that the UK justice system should be independent and sovereign. Um, we have functional courts and we have functional prisons. Um, um, if there is a case to be answered, I will answer it. And if there is um, a debt to society to repay, I'll repay it. If the Home Secretary is watching you, mm. what do you want her to understand about your case? It's important for her to, to make her decision, bearing in mind the qualities that we cherish as a nation, um, and to prevent what might be a tragic result. Um, and to, to demonstrate that that there is a duty of care that's still exercised towards the citizens of this country and that we won't send them away to a fate that they might not ever return from. Larry Love. I've been